So some thoughts here. How much have you invested in yourself over the past year, over the past five years, the past 10 years, the past 20 years? And, and I'm not talking about your business. I'm talking about you. How, how much have you invested or are you investing in you? Because again, you are your greatest asset. Is your business's greatest asset. Welcome to the EQ for Entrepreneurs podcast. Like most business owners, you already know you need good business and marketing strategies to scale and be profitable. But at some point, you've hit the dreaded wall where you feel stuck and frustrated. EQ for Entrepreneurs is for business owners and leaders who are honest enough to admit that they just might be the ones holding their business back and are brave enough to change that. We're Noble and Kathy, and every week we're having candid conversations about all things emotional intelligence and how growing that has allowed us to get out of our own way and is radically transforming both our businesses and our personal lives. This is the secret sauce strategy for modern entrepreneurs who are tired of hustling without seeing results and want to grow a business and a life that they love. What is going on, entrepreneurs, leaders, and influencers? So excited about this episode about the biggest asset in your business, in your organization, whether you're a civilian, your military, uh, your homeschool leader, that kind of thing. Um, and I also want to share with you guys some exciting news and some milestones for some of you all that have been following us for a little bit, following the podcast or our YouTube channel. Just want to share some things, uh, some milestones with you guys because you know, some of you have been been with us in this journey from the jump. And so I just want to share some of these exciting milestones. So number one, we recently hit 13,000 downloads since February of this year. Really excited and thrilled that so many folks are gleaning some neat lessons, uh, you know, from uh, from our, our podcast, from this journey. Number two, this is really exciting. We're doing a leader development uh, program, not a program, but a, a kind of a keynote professional development training on emotional intelligence for the U.S. Army Reserve Command. And big shout out to uh, my, one of my college classmates, Colonel 06 Eric Lopez. I did uh, some training for him, maybe for, for when he was a brigade commander, for his brigade senior leadership staff for culture and how to change culture. And so this one is gonna be specifically for his, the United States Army Reserve Command uh, staff, about 650 leaders uh, in their organization on emotional intelligence next month. So really excited about that. You can say a prayer for us <laughs> if you would, but really excited about that. And I've got my notes here in front of me for those of y'all that are watching YouTube. If you see if you see me look down, that's what I'm looking at here um, just to make sure I stay on track here. I also want to just share or I just want to thank all of all of you that have shared our podcast or our website with your friends or you know your 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 you maybe you've shared on social media an insight from that you've gleaned from you know one of our podcast episodes or YouTube, you know, videos on social media that you've shared and, and, and kind of made a connection from one of your, you know, kind of epiphanies in your emotional growth journey, you know, and then sharing that on uh, social media. I just want to thank you guys so much because I know, you know, without you guys, uh, you know, your support and your encouragement and your growth and your transformation, this would not be a successful podcast, would not be a successful business. So thank you very much. Also, if you, uh, if, if your company or maybe a friend's company or colleague's company is interested in EQ training, please you know, reach out to us at info at eqforentrepreneurs.com and reach out to us and we can set something up. We'd love to do that. Okay, here's a story. We have literally between my wife and I, I mean, even just by myself, but we to get, you know, we have read hundreds of books on leadership and self-development, self-improvement. 
name the topic, we have been on this very intentional growth path of, of leadership and personal growth for over 20 years now. Literally, we have read hundreds of books. If you've seen maybe some of my videos on Facebook and I've got our some of our bookshelves, like my bookshelf has got hundreds of books on it. Her, my wife's bookshelf has got hundreds of books on it. We have read hundreds and hundreds of books about personal growth and development, leadership, that kind of thing. But what's what's interesting and and we have pursued very intentionally coaching and mentorship for 20 plus years from from very successful people. But I I'd often find myself stuck or plateaued e- even after the hundreds of books and the 20 years of pursuing coaching and mentorship not realizing that so many of the reasons why we were not growing or not progressing in our in our business ventures that kind of thing was because of my EQ, my emotional intelligence or lack thereof. And and, and so I, I really want to emphasize that so you know all the personal development, all the professional development, the the the, the leadership training, you know, going to West Point and taking, you know, attending conferences and all this kind of stuff, none of those things has had the impact on my growth and development like my emotional growth journey in the past few years. I'm not being, I'm not trying to be dramatic. I'm not trying to exaggerate at all. I am being as serious uh, uh, as I possibly can be. It has had the single greatest impact outside my faith on my personal life and my professional life, which is one of the reasons, honestly, why we even started the, the, this podcast, you know, uh, you know, a handful of months ago. And so we wanted to share, you know, that that journey in our, on our growth journey and stuff. Let me just share a couple testimonies with you from some of the folks that we've worked with and the impact that their emotional growth journey has had on them. And again, remember, this is about the biggest asset in your business, which is, surprise, surprise, you. And not just your, your, your personal growth or even your professional growth. I think, in my opinion, emotional growth is a whole other ball game that has to be intentional, um, intentionally tackled to to grow. Be, otherwise, it can be a limb fact, as sometimes you say in the military, a limiting factor in your growth journey if you're not intentional at growing specifically in the area of your emotional growth. So let me tell you about a, a friend of mine, dear friend of mine named Jerry. He's a retired SAR major. He was in, in the engineers in the Army, United States Army. And, 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 you know, incredible leader, obviously very successful in the military, did very well, reached the, you know, top top rank there that you can make, that you can reach in the Army. And as a result of his emotional growth journey and him, him investing, in, not just in personal growth or professional growth, but specifically in his EQ journey, you know, he, he, he made some decisions to get out of kind of a toxic environment that he was in, a, a toxic leadership environment that he was in, and he continued his emotional growth journey. He's recently written two books. Two books are both on Amazon. I will be sure to put those uh, links in, to his books in the, um, in, the, in the show notes and in, in the description of the YouTube channel. And, and not, you know, he, he wouldn't have done that without the growth, this emotional growth journey that he's been on. Let me tell you about another dear friend of mine named Jay. He's from the Ivory Coast. He is a two-time national Taekwondo champion, right? That's <laughs> no joke. And he, he, um, he's been an entrepreneur, but he plateaued, plateaued in business, kind of plateaued kind of in, in his, in his marriage, kind of plateaued in some different areas. And he has been working on his EQ, his emotional intelligence, his emotional health. And as a result of his growth, his his marriage is doing amazing. He leads a weekly leadership kind of mastermind and discussion on Fort Bragg at one of the libraries there with leaders from different units. And he's also writing three books and and has his own blog as well. Again, none of those things would have happened if it were not for his emotional growth journey. Let me tell you about his wife, Rowena, an amazing lady, incredible story. She's from the Philippines. She came to the States as a teenager, barely speaking English, joins the army, 
goes up to the ranks, becomes a first sergeant in the 82nd Airborne Division. For all my civilians out there, that's a that's a you know no joke military unit for the Army. Becomes a senior non-commissioned officer in a, a, a very high-speed unit, and you know had a, she had a very difficult childhood. Uh, she's had lots of challenges, but as a result of her EQ growth journey over the past few years, she's healthier emotionally. She's home, a homeschool mom to three beautiful kids. Their oldest child daughter is in the Air Force and, and doing very well in the Air Force. And she's starting a business helping military, transitioning military women into the civilian world. So, so again, a great need that I think is going to be a game changer. She would not have been able to do that if, for, if it were not for, again, her emotional growth journey. So personal growth is great. Professional growth is great. I, you know, this episode is about also making a priority your emotional growth journey as well. So some thoughts here. How much have you invested in yourself over the past year? over the past five years, the past 10 years, the past 20 years. And and I'm not talking about your business. I'm talking about you. How, How much have you invested or are you investing in you? Because again, you are your greatest asset. Is your business's greatest asset. So goes you, so goes your business. People think that, you know, many folks think that their asset is is their following, their social media following, or their rank, you know, in the military, or their business rank, you know, how, you know, the CEO, or maybe your C-level staff, or whatever, or maybe it's the size of your network, or, you know, your your email list, or or whatever the, the, the case may be there. And their tools, those are all great tools, all very important and everything. But again, none of those compare to investing in you. And that's the, the, you know, the temptation as an entrepreneur, so many entrepreneurs end up focusing on all the other stuff. They focus on our business. They focus on working on their business and in their business. But what percentage of time do you focus on you, on the engine that drives your business? So, and, 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 and here's another thought too. How many wealthy, successful people do you know that are miserable? I'm sure you know some. Or, or some high-ranking folks, again, in the military, some, some colonels, some generals, some star majors that are miserable. Why do you think that is? You think, man, by, I mean, surely at that rank, you know, they, they've arrived or they'd be happy or satisfied or the big Hollywood ballers, you know, zillionaires and stuff. Surely their lives are rainbows and unicorns and, right? No, a lot of those guys are miserable. So in my opinion, financial freedom without emotional freedom isn't freedom. Financial freedom without emotional freedom isn't freedom. How many successful uh, business or military people do you know that drive the fancy cars, they live in the right neighborhood, they, they have the big house, their kids go to the right school, but again, they're leading shallow lives or hollow lives. Or man, I've, I'm part of this one Facebook group, it's been fascinating. So many men, it's kind of a men's Facebook group, a kind of a dad's men's Facebook group. So many men are literally, that the quote that many of us have heard before, leading lives of quiet desperation, leading lives of quiet desperation. And man, is that what God intended us to, to live? Is that, was, is that what we are intended to do on this planet is just, is just, you know, suck it up, just, just deal with it. Just, you know, embrace the suck. Is that, is that like, that, like that's what, what a successful, uh, uh, enlightened, you know, life is supposed to be about is just the grind I, I don't think so. Now, I, now, you know, maybe 10 years ago, I would have absolutely said, oh, yeah, it's all about the grind, right? The entrepreneur grind, the hustle, the side hustle, right? The, it's all about the hustle. Well, when do you live? <laughs> when do you live? And so I feel like being emotionally healthy can, can completely change your dynamic, your being, your experience, your business, your organization, your leadership, your perspective, your thought process, your heart. 
it, it changes everything. Again, I'm just speaking from personal experience. I'm no, I'm, I'm no psychologist, I'm no psychiatrist, I'm not a counselor, I'm just an entrepreneur who has had my life changed as a result of my emotional growth journey. All right, so realize again, there's a difference between personal growth and EQ growth, there's a difference between professional growth and EQ growth. So here's some thoughts for you all. You can't outread a low self image. You can't out earn being em unhealthy emotionally. Uh, you, you can't, there's no amount of affirmations or morning routines that can compensate for being emotionally unhealthy. There's no uh, uh, amount of push ups or pull ups or six pack abs that can compensate for a low EQ. Again, you probably know some of these people. There's no, you know, I do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for a couple years now. There's no Brazilian Jiu Jitsu belt or belt in the martial arts that can compensate for being emotionally unhealthy. There's no level in business or income or military rank that can make up for being emotionally unhealthy. There's no amount of coaching or mentorship, again, personal experience here, that can make up for being emotionally unhealthy. Your mentor or your coach or whatever cannot help you, they cannot, get, they cannot do the work for you, I guess is what I'm trying to say. They can't do that emotional work for you. That's 100% up to you. Your responsibility, you have to take ownership of that piece, which again, it is, is part of EQ, right? Self-awareness and then that self-management piece. You've got to be able to lead yourself through this emotional growth journey. And so, um, all right, you know, and, and here's the thing is, is, is how, how is all the, how are all those things working for you right now? How are the books that you've read and, and the, the mentors that you've talked to and, and the, the conferences that you've attended, how's it working for you? Are you where you want to be? Are you satisfied? Are you happy? Do you have peace of mind, like true peace of mind? Do you have true emotional freedom? Do you feel emotionally healthy? Or, 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 or are there some things nagging deep down inside of you? You may not even be aware of some of the, 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 the issues that, that may be going on you know, inside of you. I wasn't for most of my life. I, again, I am the poster child. And, and the, the irony is I'm the last guy that should be doing something on EQ. I was the airborne ranger, infantry officer. Like, don't talk to me about warm, fuzzy stuff. Don't talk to me about emotions and feelings, that, you know, the cuss words of emotions and feelings. Again, the clue bus drove by and I never got on. Now I'm realizing after all the research and all the studies and my own growth, man, emotions, our emotional grid impacts every single decision that we make whether you're aware of it or not. Even for my hardcore, logical, you know, unemotional folks out there, you still make decisions just physiologically, the, the way, and I'm, I'm not gonna go into all that stuff, but you can read about that. But we all, all our decisions in every area of our life are impacted by our, our EQ, our emotional health or lack thereof. And, and, and you know, and here's the other thing too, is that now, yeah, here's a great point. You know, do those books help out? Does, does personal growth help? Does professional growth help? Of course, of course. Does mentorship help? Of course. I'm not saying that those, those things are not valuable. I'm not saying they're not helpful, but at some point you will cap out in those areas. You will reach, you will reach a spot, again, a point in your life where those things are not gonna help you anymore. There's, you're, you're gonna you're gonna hit that cap, and 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 sure, could there be other things? Absolutely, but I feel another big area that can help increase that cap in your life again is your emotional growth journey. And and here's the thing: you probably know some folks. So as I was mentioning all those different areas, you probably know folks that are in those categories, and maybe you're in those categories. I, I was again. I, I'm the poster child for how did I even come up with all those areas because. Honestly, those those areas are, are you know that was me three or four or five years ago. So, again, realize that you are the greatest asset in your business. Take the time, make the time, 
to invest specifically in your emotional growth and in your emotional health. It's like it's like emotional PT, emotional fitness, emotional physical training for those that are not familiar with that term PT there. The, the, the number of ways, again, that I have benefited personally as a result of my emotional growth is, is almost is almost incalculable. I mean, it's it's and again, I'm not trying to be dramatic. I'm not trying to be you know exaggerating. I'm telling you, I've just lost 30 pounds at the at the filming of this, at the dropping of this episode here. I have just lost 30 pounds. I'm two months long into this, my, my health journey. The I'm telling you, if it was not for my emotional growth journey. I would I would have kicked back into all my self-sabotage stuff that I that I've done for 20, 30 years of my life before. So I, I I just I'm telling you guys, this is a game changer if you just embrace this area, this aspect of life and growth. It's hard work. It's not super sexy. It takes time. It takes intention, but it is so worth it. My faith has 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 benefited. My family has benefited from my EQ growth. Our finances, my fitness, I just I just told you about that. Our businesses, my our social life, everything has improved as a result of this very intentional emotional growth journey. Check this out, an exciting thing that we're doing here that's coming up. We are actually launching an eight-week course called the EQ Accelerator. Um, this month, this month, we are launching a, a, an eight-week course, uh, which we're, again, we're really stoked about and really excited about. And again, <laughs> please pray for us if you can think about it too. Um, it, but we've already we've already knocked out some of the modules and some of the lessons and stuff. We're getting all, we're doing all the back behind the scenes stuff now. And I'm so excited for those of you that that join us in this eight-week course. It's gonna, I'm telling you, man, it's gonna, it's gonna be transforming. It's going to be a life transformational for you. I'm telling you, I'm so excited about it. And then for some of you all that uh, that do attend the course, you will also have an opportunity to sign up and join our membership community, our EQ membership community, where you can grow your EQ in a safe, supportive, encouraging community. And, uh, you know, hurting people hurt people. And conversely, emotionally Healthy people help heal others emotionally. Let me say that again. Hurting people hurt people. I'm sure you know some of those people. And emotionally healthy people help heal others emotionally. And in my opinion, the best way to do that is is in in some sort of supportive, encouraging community. So please check out that that the course. You can sign up for that course to be on the waiting list at eqforentrepreneurs.com forward slash EQA for EQ Accelerator. So eqforentrepreneurs.com forward slash EQA. We want to continue helping entrepreneurs and leaders navigate the emotional journey of running a business by helping you grow your emotional intelligence and helping you become more emotionally healthy. We'll